Good morning, you guys. It is New Year's Eve. Um, I wanted to get on here and make a little video of the day, just kind of preparing for the new year, I guess. But, yeah, I don't think we have a lot going on really today. I really just want to, like, reset the house. I want to, like, do an everything shower, get myself ready for the new year. And, yeah, I think we're going to go to a coffee shop, though, because Kobe is studying for his step one, which he's in medical school, so if you're new here... Yeah, it's like a test they have to take after their second year. So he's starting to prepare for that. And I think I'm going to tie along because I love coffee. And I think I'm going to make a vision board while I'm there for the new year. I didn't do it last year because I kind of like laughed at it. But I think this year I'm in a good mind space, mind set to where I want to do one. So I'm talking to myself. Of course you are. <laughs> the dog's peeing. Come here. You going poopoo pee pee? Well, it was either make the bed or let the dog out, and you chose to... No, you didn't give me an option. Yes. Alright, I've just got back from the coffee shop and I completed my little vision board. There it is. I think it's super cute and it was actually really fun to make and not too hard. I literally just went to Pinterest and like typed in what I was wanting and just put like aesthetic at the end of it so that way the pictures come out, I don't know, more aesthetic. <laughs> and anyways, yeah. But yeah, I'm out of breath from coming up the stairs, so bear with me. Um, but honestly, I'm going to start some laundry and do the last Sunday reset of 2023. Kobe's downstairs. I can hear the pots and pans because he's trying to figure out something to make for dinner. He didn't like any of the dinner ideas I come, came up with this week except for one. And the only one that I didn't wasn't able to get all the ingredients for because they were out of some stuff. So he's down there looking around trying to figure out what we're gonna make tonight but yeah we're gonna do that Sunday reset and then everything shower probably play Fortnite, and then go to bed We ended up having like barbecue chicken tostada kind of thing for dinner. It was actually really good. Um, I had Kobe make me three and then I ended up not eating them all. So um, yeah, I feel bad for wasting one, but they were really good. Now I'm just going through. Kobe always gives me a planner for Christmas normally. So this is my one for the new year. I've already filled out some of it, but since tomorrow's like day one of this, I'm going to go ahead and complete it. Fun to kind of go through your one from the previous year just to like reminisce on like all the things that happened and it can also be kind of like sad or bittersweet at times whenever like rough things were going on and you have that marked but overall I'm really looking forward to this new year. I feel like last year I was 
kind of in a funk, so I was not as excited coming into the new year. But this year, I don't know, I just have really good motivation right now, and I feel like things are looking up for me, so I'm excited for like a fresh start and to just continue working on my mental health, my relationships with people, and my career. Like, All right, I'm about to put a hair mask in. First, I'm going to do this scalp um, serum, and it's almost gone, so I'll probably use the rest of that, and then... I'm going to do some of this hair mask. I really like this hair mask, especially for the price, because I've had more expensive ones. And I feel like this one works just as well, if not better. And it was like, I want to say like between $15 and $20. So I will probably be repurchasing that. Or I might even try like a different formula from the same brand, if that makes sense. Like a different, like this one's for... Hydration and softens your hair. I might try something else. I don't know. Okay. I think I'm gonna. I feel like I'm using too much of this, but it's the last of it. I just want to get rid of it, honestly. Yeah, I'm supposed to have white hair, I believe, with this. So I just got it damp. I'm going to toss this. I don't know that this would be a repurchase. I am sure there are better hair scalp oils out there. So I don't know that I'll get that specific one. <clears throat> but let's do... I usually use a pretty good amount of this because I only use it like once a week or once every couple weeks. So I have a lot of hair. So I probably use quite a bit to cover the hair all up. I always end up pulling so much hair out because like I said I have super thick hair and when it gets like wet or damp it just it tangles easily and when I run my fingers through it a lot of it ends up falling out. Okay. Now that I look like a greasy rat, I'm going to let it sit for, I usually do like 10 minutes or so. I'm not really sure what the recommended amount is. I, I know I read it at one point, I just don't remember. It's probably around 10, but I'm going to let it sit, go ahead and start shower so it can be warmed up. And yeah, I'm going to be, it's going to be a little while in the shower because i got to wash this out and then wash my hair. And I'm going to shave, exfoliate, do all the things. I kind of wish I had a had tanner because I would like to put some self tan on. Actually no I wouldn't because I don't want to do the whole process of washing it off in the morning. Let's ice some cinnamon rolls. They're a little bit more brown than I would want but they will still get eaten. Nice marshmallowy icing. This is the hot cocoa cinnamon rolls. Opie. 